and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome uh, back to another video. Um, so I've been playing Viva Piñata recently in between other rare games and there's something that is very important in it is uh, um, chocolate coins or money and I was like what is the fastest way to make chocolate coins so this first method is um, the method that I use uh, that, uh, quite a bit uh, um, which is just like get um, the highest tier uh, um, weeds you can uh, currently buy just plant some of them and just like sell um, the produce from it and it, uh, this actually did quite a bit better that so right, better than I thought it would do so the, the oh, I will do three tests and it, um, each three of them went on for an hour the only one that didn't really go on for an entire hour was this one that's because it had the, like two minutes like less than two minutes left and I don't think and I didn't think like you could grow some weeds in that two minutes to maturity so I just uh, ended it like a minute or two early um, so let's have a quick talk about uh, um, this first method here method one selling weeds um, start I started off at um, 87,747 uh, coins and ended off with 215,349 coins total gained 127,602 chocolate coins so yeah it did uh, um, quite a bit better than I thought it uh, did um, and uh, th this could be improved I did mess up at, um, at the start by planting them quite you know too close together making it hard to sell what I needed uh, to and they're not uh, selling the plan uh, to which would lose me money pros easy to do and doesn't uh, to require much money to get started cons can uh, to do in main uh, save as piñatas tend uh, to eat them and get poorly and they cost you uh, money to heal even if you have a fenness and a gate uh, with it the NPCs in the game will tend to uh, let them let the piñatas in and if you do have uh, a new save you have to make sure the wild piñatas don't eat the weeds because that would impact your profit and I can't find my mouse here it is so yeah um, that did take a while to do so um, let me just quickly talk here for a minute about what you can do with chocolate coins or money or whatever you want to call them Basically, you can, uh, um, after a certain point, buy piñatas, you can buy, you use them to build houses for piñatas, you can buy um, the uh, um, sweets that uh, will make piñatas romance, which um, helps uh, you complete the game, because um, to 100% com the game, you have to um, have seven piñatas of the same species, uh, um, in the garden at the same time to get the master master romancer. Uh, there's a rom there's one for just rom there's an achievement for just romancing them, and there's another one for um, having one them visit, and th I think there's another one for having them re reside there. And then there's free variants on top of that, which you get by feeding them certain t items, which you pay with chocolate coins. Um, and then there's also an achievement that uh, for getting a um, garden that's value is um, 100,000 chocolate coins which you're going to need very expensive piñatas which the easiest way to get them is to ha um, hire the huntress to hunt them for you and uh, um, romance them while she's out hunting so yeah chocolate coins help with pretty much all of that um, so and the, the all and the, the why I'm making this video, even though there are videos, um, about how to do this, because the other two are from videos on YouTube. Those videos are you are of low quality. The microphone microphone isn't the best, and the, the video quality is literally just a camera pointed at the screen. So from what I found, so um, I just thought I'd test these out, see exactly how effective the uh, are. And it, um, also, you know, do it with a quality video. 
Uh, mind you not that I should complain about video quality being us. My YouTube channel literally started with me just like pointing my webcam at my TV and just like um, playing Super Mario Galaxy and um, Luigi's Mansion and Sunshine. Well, I did Sunshine as a requested series from one of my friends because he didn't know how to get to the end. So I was like, hey, could you um, play through it for me? I was like, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, what you're currently seeing is sped up by 8 times, which means you can't even hear the sped up music anymore, it just goes silent to add 8 times. I think it, I think you should be able to still hear like um, everything being sped up at 4 times, but I think at 8 times it just goes silent. Um, and it, yeah, all of these took 1 hour each, 3 tests, so that's 3 hours of just recording, uh, me recording these. Um, and all of these are fairly hands on. Um, this one isn't as hands-on as uh, um, another one of them, but um, the next one, I think, yeah, the next one is a bit hands-off, bit, it's not as hands-on as this, but you, it does still require manual, you manually selecting things and selling things. Uh, where this, you can't, uh, with most crops you can hire um, somebody to sell them but I've tried this but and they won't sell um, weeds unfortunately so I didn't bother hiring one of them for this or at all I just um, sold them all myself you could probably increase the efficiency of the last one by hiring um, one of the people who sells things I can't remember what they're called um, but the next one you can't um, because it, it's it's not focused around plants. Also, before anybody just goes, oh, just get the most expensive pinatas and breed uh, two of the most expensive pinatas. Breed them using the, the candy which uh, costs 600 each, so that's 1,200. Then sell the pinatas, uh, the one of the pinatas after you romanced them. Then you get uh, a bunch of money back from it, and it's just like. I want to try and do this without, without romancing piñatas because, um, yeah, obviously you could do that, but I want, I don't want you it just be like, oh, just romance some piñatas and sell them. I want to actually be like, okay, if you want to make some money quickly without to having to do the little mini game with the romancing, and then wait for the egg to hatch, do this instead. Um, oh yeah, so this, this is the second one. So for this one. Uh, what you need is uh, some flowers to attract tafflies and a tor and a tiki torch um, because it sets them on fire. And then um, what you do, and then you can have the huntress go and uh, hunt them for you. That does speed this up. Um, so uh, when the tafflies uh, start burning, you can put them out with your watering can, and that will turn them into fire hogs. I think they're called or something like that. Um, so, and then you sell it to, for a profit, you know, for a really good bit, a nice chunk of money. So this started off at 215,349 chocolate coins, and it ended at 293,130 chocolate coins. Total gain 77,781 chocolate coins. And yes, that is less than just selling weeds. Um, what could be improved? I don't know what could really be done to make this any faster without uh, breeding tafflies. And if you are going to breed that, going the breeding route, there are much better pinatas to do it, to breed, you know, to romance. Pros, easy to do. Tafflies are common and uh, you can do this in your main garden would uh, make a good side money making method, but not something worth dedicating a like save file to. Uh, cons takes forever and did not make as much money as the previous test even with a bit of a head start with me planting um, the flowers and uh, um, putting the tiki torch down uh, before I started the timer so even with that sh small head start it didn't uh, um, it didn't uh, you know catch up like um, we did get a couple of tafflies that just like spawn and joined but it, for the most part m 
uh, it was just mostly tap lights at the hun Huntress Court that were that uh, did it, and uh, because um, the the B ones I can't remember what they're called uh, um, because they uh, only require a handful of flowers to join to, to be in your garden for them to join. Uh, I did get a couple of them, so they even and I sold them and the deck, uh, you know, because doing this you would get them. So I was just like, eh, might as well um, count them as well. So I sold them and even they helped it, and it still wasn't enough to even uh, catch up to um, the first method of just selling uh, um, weeds. Because again, that to had the that to gained a total of one hundred and twenty-seven thousand six hundred and two. Yeah, so at least it broke fifty thousand. Um, at least it, it did, I guess. But um, other than that, it was just slow and just really not worth the time. Um, now, um, there was a fourth method that I thought about doing where you just like planted um, some gem tree seeds and then converted the gems that they made uh, into rainbow gems and sold them because for profit. Uh, well the reason why I di and didn't end up doing that in the end is because um, their gem trees just took way too long to even grow to a maturity where they could possibly uh, produce gems so, uh, so it's like now by the time they actually produce gems it like ha at least half an hour would have been and gone and the, 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 not one harvest is not going to be anywhere near enough uh, to uh, um, even help it to, uh, catch up with the um, other methods so that just sort of got scrapped um, so yeah, um, it is nice that you get a little notification for whenever she's caught the taff lies. Um, and I will say this because the taff lies are, um, you know, one of the easiest to, to get. It doesn't take a long to catch them. Um, uh, and something else about the taff lies, it can be a bit stupid sometimes. And when you tell them to go to the tiki torch, they just fly around and around and around and around. And I found that, that to be the case um, with a lot of like uh, pinatas that can fly. That if you direct them towards something, sometimes they'll just fly around in circles for a while uh, before um, getting to it or not even getting to it at all in some cases. <laughs> but yeah. This, yeah, this definitely, right, if you, um, if, if you are playing it and just put a tiki torch down, um, and then, uh, you know, if you get in taff flies and just, just like put a tiki torch down, um, and then, uh, um, when the taff, you get, when the taff fly joins, just have it fly into the fire, Put it out, and then you get a little bit t uh, more money for the taff lie. Um, so, yeah. Look at that, there's not really much to say about this. It's just. Um, Mostly just me, just like waiting for the hunter to catch a tough fly, and then uh, just like, and then just like maybe just like oh, there's a tough fly that randomly joined. Yeah, I just so, uh, set him on fire, put him out, and sell him. Um, but you you must be careful to pull the tough flies out uh, before they die, otherwise uh, you're just gonna lose uh, chocolate coins. Um, yeah. How much longer does this go on? Like seriously. Um, not too much longer, hopefully. Oh, poop. I'll have to be back in one second. Okay, I'm back. I accidentally clicked onto the thing, and then I couldn't see what was going on. So we're here 
Yeah, then that goes into the shop, and then that just shows the loading screen. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer now, because we're, we're down to the last bit, pretty much. Yeah, I think that's um, where it ended. Oh, no, there's a couple more. Yeah, I'll sell, yeah, this is where I was just, like, selling everything. And this is just me doing all the calculations. Oh, did I leave this recording the entire time? Oops, it is this. You can just, like, see the clock go round and round and round. Anyway, so, this third and final method. Let me talk about this quickly. The third and final method is to plant a 3x3 of chili seeds uh, um, as close together as you can then fertilize them from the um, fertilizer you get from the um, homeless guy who you give uh, 1000 uh, dead chocolate coins to and then he opens up his own shop uh, um, and oh no fertilize it three times not four times so, um, so I forgot to change that um, and I'd uh, wait for them to grow then sell um, well I didn't exactly wait for them to grow I just planted more and then fertilize them and then uh, make sure that and you need to make sure that they are watered I I forgot to water them at the start to um, and I did lose um, one um, you know crop one set of um, chilies so we started at 328,831 um, chocolate coins. And the reason why we're starting um, from such a different number as last time, you might notice, is because um, I actually did try recording this, but then something came up, so I had to walk away. And that, so I just decided to restart this test again, and because I was only like five minutes into it. Um, also, so, and then we ended at 493,988, almost half a million chocolate coins. Total gain at 165,957, um, which, um, did beat out, uh, um, the first method, uh, um, which had 127,602 chocolate coins grossed. Um, so yeah, not to that big of a difference in, you know, overall. Like, yeah, there's uh, like um, 50 odd uh, thousand uh, chocolate coins, but um, I, did, I did have to slow it down quite a bit because I didn't. Uh, the first one because I didn't feel like um, selling all of the um, you know destroying and selling all of the weeds um, I could, if I wanted to I could have kept just kept on growing more and more and more um, where instead I decided to sell some of the seeds and uh, plant um, at least one each so um, I well, even then, I don't think it, it would have managed to come up. I think um, if uh, if I did just, like, plant more and more and more, I think it would have probably gone up to about, um, I'd say something like 130-odd thousand-ish, uh, I think, if I really did just... Um, more and more and more but anyway um so this was the most effective method um and it, uh, um what could be improved my control yeah so my xbox one controller does randomly decide to go to the left so that did decrease the efficiency more than the others so far because the others i didn't i didn't really need to be that precise so um, if the controller did decide to just like, eh, I'm going to send you to the left a bit. I, I, I don't know why, I have no idea why. I tried moving my Xbox One, doesn't change anything, but I managed to uh, uh, beat my do because we nuts and bolts and get every jiggy, every trophy, every ginjo, do everything in it, apart from like um, the super clungo thing, 
but that's part of the DLC. I still need to uh, finish that. I've done all of that with the stick drifting to the left, so um, yeah, it's not a massive impact on how on the game, on my playing experience, but it is mildly annoying from time to time. Um, pros, it makes you a lot of money and they're quite fast. And you can do this in your main save file. It's just like, oh, I needed more chocolate coins so I can get this piñata. I'll just like, plant some chilies, um, put fertilizer on them, put some more water them. Boom, quick money. Um, yeah, I would suggest doing them in groups of uh, um, three threes. So, well, three groups of, you know, three sets of chili um, areas. Um, because uh, um, it, by doing that, um, you uh, can plant as many without um, you know your plants uh, um, dying from dehydration. Um, cons: It is very yeah, so it is very pre precise and tricky to place the seeds, um, which yeah, like uh, as you can probably see here. There's many times where I've had to undo a seed and then replace it because um, it wasn't close enough to the seeds next to it and I we probably shouldn't put it down in the first place but um, you need the, them quite close together because um, it's uh, to maximize uh, um, the, the uh, uh, money efficiency with the fertilizer because when you uh, use the fertilizer it does it within an area, so then every crop in that area gets affected, and with them so close together, um, all of them get gets affected, and uh, um, it basically means that uh, you're spending less money to make more money. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Um, out of uh, all three of these methods, I would definitely suggest using the chili method. Um, and I can't remember exactly who made the, um, the original video on this. It was years ago, I remember that. Um, but I literally, if you want to find the original video, just like t uh, go onto YouTube and just like put in um, Viva Piñata money or chocolate coin making method, and you could probably find the original video with minimum effort. But um, I really don't think there's much point to me um, going on my way to figure out who they are because you know, to find the original video because one they might not even be the original person who did this and that, uh, who discovered that this um, and that uh, they might have stolen it from somebody else which um, would be really hard for me to uh, check being as um, this game was originally on the Xbox 360 um, and that it's been around for a while um, so yeah. Um, second off, would you, even if I had left a link to the video in the description down below or in the comment in the comment section uh, as a pinned comment, would you watch it? Probably not. Anyway, the video is ending here, so um, I'm going to say, uh, say thank you for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and ring a ding that notification bell, otherwise YouTube won't notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.